All right, you can see this week I'm going to be doing a painting of a sea otter. And this week I chose a different method. Instead of doing a refined sketch, I just went with kind of like a blobby method where you just kind of blob the paint on and just kind of build the form as you go. I'm doing the water right now and just kind of just not really paying attention to doing a real refined sketch. I don't know if I love this method, but I thought I'd give it a try. I saw some other people doing it. I thought, oh, this would be fun to give it a try. You saw the proportion of the head I felt was too small, so I made it larger. But again, just kind of blobbing on paint. Still have to build that form and shape, but slowly building it up through just blobbing it on there, and building the shadows and the lights. And then, as always with the fur, got to go back in there and add layer after layer. Now, I did have fun with the nose. I created a special brush just for the nose, and that was a lot of fun. And I felt like it worked pretty well, made a nice texture for the nose. Now I'm going back and using that same brush on his paws because I thought it kind of looked similar. Now I'm doing the eyes. Um, and just those are the most probably the most refined thing at this point. And then going and building all of those layers of fur. Now this guy, he has two different kinds of fur on him because he has fur that's kind of dried off out in the sun. And that's kind of really soft and fun and fluffy. And that's what we see on his face and a little bit on his paws. That fur has been dried off. But then the fur that's on his body, that's right above the water, that fur is wet. And I treat them differently. So this is the typical method that I use for drawing fur. I just build layer after layer of these little fur strokes. And then I'll come back in and I'll put in the shadows and maybe some highlights. Uh, and if I see the form is a little off, I'll come back and add that form back in. And you'll see me just build this layer process just like I normally do. Um, now I'm making some longer strokes where I'm going to have some longer fur on his face, kind of like almost like whiskers that kind of stick out. Uh, up there in the water, you might have seen me testing my fur brush. But here we go. Just now we do have some little tips of the fur that are kind of like a little bit that were maybe a little bit wet. But for the most part, it's dry, fluffy fur on his face. Uh, it's really short around his nose and then gets longer as it goes down his face. So you'll see me make little short strokes around his nose uh, and on maybe on his forehead there. And then the fur kind of gets longer as it goes down his face and gets a little more fluffy all the way down. So you can see that process here. Interestingly enough, I never really went back and did too much with the ears. They're just little brown blobs, but they seem to work in the end. I'm doing his underneath, his little mouth there. And you know, I'll come back and put more shadow on that because right now it's very flat in my opinion. So I'll have to come back and add shadow, trying to put where his whiskers would be. Again, building that form, laying down some, and then picking it back up. Now going on to his paw, using that same texture brush that I used on his nose for the pads on his paw. Then doing the fluffy, kind of dried fur that's a little fluffy. And I reshaped this paw because I didn't really like it and I had to do the fur the underneath there as well. So I reshape it and I'm coming back on top there. And I'm actually gonna reshape it again uh, before I'm done. But you can see a little fluffy. Now I'm going over to the wet fur. You see the wet fur is pretty much like these daggers almost. Um, and there's layers of those daggers as well. So I put down a layer, and then I airbrush underneath that layer to kind of give it lift, and then I come back and go put the highlights on. I decided he needed more work on his face. He'll need a lot more work before I'm done, I think. I felt like it was just a round ball that wasn't there wasn't any form, so I had to keep working that. So that's what I'm doing there. Now going back to his paw. And the process is just the same. So I'm gonna speed it up here in just a second and jump ahead so you don't have to keep watching the same thing. But it's the same process as I've always done with the fur, just layer after layer, building it up and adding strokes on top. So you're gonna see me make a big jump here in just a second. Right there. But it's the same process. You can see I'm still adding layers of fur on his paw and on his face there but it's just layers airbrushing between the layers to kind of be, okay this is where the form needs to be and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that water in just a second there we go start working on that water getting some some green down in there some red actually in there as well some darker blue 
give that shadow look. And then that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe.